So in this video we're going to look at some of the important files for configuring Dominet on a FreeBSD machine. This file is loader.conf and def uh, defines some of the modules that are loaded when the kernel boots. This one tells it to load the bridging module. We're going to be configuring Dominet in the bridging mode. IPFW load tells it to load the firewall module. Dominet tells it to load the Dominet. And kernel hertz equals 10,000 tells it to run the kernel uh, timer interrupts frequently, which can be good for packet timing. Next we're going to have a look at etc. syscontrol.conf. Um, this controls parameters which can be set once the kernel is running. Um, IPFW one pass tells the uh, firewall not to process packets multiple times. Uh, link.bridge.ipfw tells that the bridge packet should be passed to the firewall. This will be important because that's how we'll get them into Dominet. Kern.timecounterhardware.tsc tells it to use the uh, timestamp counter for timing, which makes things a bit faster. And these two lines here, which set the pipe limit, control how large we can make the queues in Dominet. So now we're going to look at rc.conf and some of the lines here which are relevant to the configuration of Dominet. Uh, you can set things like the host name here. Um, in our case, we have two interfaces, EM0 and EM1, that we're going to bridge between. We could configure these in the normal way. For instance, the highlighted line shows how to configure EM0. But in fact, we'll be configuring these as part of a bridge. So we make an interface called bridge0, which will be the bridge. And we add interfaces EM0 and EM1 to the bridge, which means they'll be joined together as an Ethernet bridge. We want the firewall enabled. Uh, we have a script for loading firewall rules, uh, which will be very simple. We'll show that now in a moment. And uh, of course, you might want to set a little settings, such as running NTP, if the time will be important to you. So IPFW conf contains the actual firewall rules that we're going to use to get packets in and out of Dominet. Um, this is what this file looks like and it just contains a series of uh, Dominet rules. We'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, the script which loads this file is very simple. This is the one that was mentioned in rc.conf. rc firewall test just runs this command ipfw minus q etc ipfw.conf so this loads the rules into the kernel from there. The minus Q tells it to be quiet and not um, display any messages. So let's go back and look at the rules that we're actually making use of. So these beginning rules, flush, Q flush, and pipe flush, uh, clear all the existing uh, IPFW settings. Now these block of rules here configure four pipes, which are the uh, constructs that Dominet uses for controlling the queue. For instance, these first pipes 1 and 2 have a bandwidth of 900 uh, megabits a second, a delay of 0 milliseconds added, and very large queues of 7,500 packets as the maximum number of pa packets can be queued. Pipe 3 and pipe 4 are much smaller. They have a delay of 0 milliseconds, but they ha only have a 1 megabit size and uh, a queue of size 2. Of course, we don't want uh, packets from localhost to go through any of this stuff, so we allow these through first. And then these rules here actually take packets and put them into pipes 1 to 4. So this controls which packets are put into which pipes. So pipe 3 here, uh, which was one of the small pipes, we take packets from this particular MAC address that was received on EM0 and transmitted on EM1 and put it into that pipe. When it's been through that pipe, it will come to the next rule, which will match the same set of packets because I've given the same specification and then it will skip to rule 60,000. Rule 60,000 is at the bottom and just allows the packet through there. There's a similar rule for going the other direction for, uh, which puts things into pipe 4 but the here if you look the MAC rule which controls the MAC addresses to be matched uh, has had the order swap so it gets the packets going in the other direction. Now the remaining packets are actually fed either going from EM0 to EM1 or EM1 to EM0. And these put them into pipes 1 and 2 which were the big pipes and again they skip to 60,000 when they're finished. Now uh, one other thing which you uh, might find useful is to allow root logins uh, to the uh, Dominet box uh, for management. Um, to enable that you'll have to edit etc. Uh, sshssh.conf and turn permit turn on permit root logins from no to yes. Uh, 